Welcome to Crafts and Minis. I have a find for some cheap figures you can use in your tabletop games like Dungeons and Dragons. Now, what you see before you are a whole lot of bugs. And I know I already showed you another cheap option for bugs for your game, but I totally thought this was worthwhile to share also. So this is from a company called Learning Resources, and they're, they come in this, uh, this tub, Backyard Bugs. What's cool is you get 72 of these. There are six different type of bugs, and you get 12 of each. So that's all, if you want a particular type of bug that's in this set, that's all you're really ever going to need probably for Dungeons & Dragons or most tabletop games. But I really, really, really like this set. You can get this bucket on Amazon, which is where I got it, in the United States for $18.79 US. So for under 20 bucks, you get 72 toys that can be used for your tabletop game like Dungeons and Dragons. And I wanted to share why I'm so excited about this set. First of all, when it comes to bugs, there are a ton of different options out there um, from different toys, party favors, Halloween decorations, what have you. And they all have different uh, benefits. They all have different styles. I must have a dozen different types of just spiders at my disposal now that I've collected. So when you're talking about bugs, I'm not saying you have to get them from one resource or from one source. Get them wherever you can. Uh, in a way that you like, but I like to know what options are out there because they all are a little bit different. The reason I wanted to share this particular set with you is that these are more hefty. They're more substantial than other toy bugs that I've come across. So for instance, you take one of these dragonflies and not only does it have decent detail, you see it there in the wings and below, but this is, um, even though it's a rubbery plastic, um, and it has a lot more give than, I mean, it's close to like the, um, feel of the bones material from Reaper, but it has more give than that. It is more substantial than any other dragonfly that I've come across, especially when it comes to the wings on most dragonflies, you're going to get really thin plastic for the wings, or especially if it's the transparent stuff, um, you know, it just becomes difficult to do because, you know, you might want to paint just the body and not the wings or whatever. But I bought these specifically because I'm like, no, I'll paint the wings. That's no problem. But I really like the idea of a more substantial dragonfly. And what I also like here is the profile. You have the option where you could either mount this directly on a base itself or you could mount it um, like to a nail sticking out so that it would be flying. And either one works with this particular miniature. With some miniatures, you don't even have the option really of mounting them on the base just because of how the legs are uh, done on the toy, um, especially on some bugs where it just becomes really difficult to mount on a toy. Now, I have, this is my one inch base, and you see that it could mount directly onto a one inch or for D&D, that'd be a medium-sized creature base. Or you could mount it with a nail sticking out, and I think that's what I'd probably do with these. Um, I also brought a two-inch washer just for scale purposes, so you can see, and then also a Reaper Elf. So this would be a huge dragonfly, but that'd be an awesome, awesome encounter. Now, when you get 12 of one of these, you could paint them up all the same, and then you have 12 dragonflies. Or you could paint six in one uh, scheme and six in another paint scheme, and then you're working with different types of dragonflies. And I just like that this set for under 20 bucks gives me 12 of each. And I like that there's only six options in here and types of different bugs, because sometimes you just get overwhelmed with all the choices too, and you're never going to mount them up or do anything with them. But in this case, I definitely uh, see myself using these. Now, these spiders, the reason I like these spiders is that you don't have to worry about mounting the legs to the base. The body itself sits nicely on the base. And with some E6000 glue, which is my glue of choice for stuff like this, um, this is going to mount up super easy. And as you can see, it mounts up on a large size base, no problem, which is awesome. And the spiders, just to show a little more detail, there is some fur detail in the legs, which you're not getting on most cheap toy spiders. Now, like anything, 
that's mass produced like this, you're going to have to, if you care about it, scrape off some of the lettering that shows where these are made and what company and whatnot. But for me, it sits on the bottom. No one's ever going to see it. No problem. Now, disclaimer, I haven't primed or painted any of these yet, so I can't speak to how well they'll take paint, but I have yet to find uh, something that the black automotive um, spray doesn't work on. So sandable black auto primer, sorry. I was having a little trouble remembering what that was. The Sandable Black Auto Primer um, is my primer of choice, and it sticks really well. Um, now, I know some people have trouble with bones, all that. I might do a test on these with Blanco's recommendation on how he does the bones, where you let it sit in some isopropyl alcohol, uh, like overnight, and if you're worried about these priming up well. And so that is definitely an option. I love these caterpillars. Now you can see there are mold lines, so you gotta take care of those if you want. And yeah, those it wouldn't be too crazy to clean off on these, but again, for cheap miniatures, you don't want to put a whole bunch of time into them usually. Um, but I really like this because I don't have a caterpillar like this from another line that I'm aware of uh, that I personally own. And you see, it fits on a 50 millimeter by 25 millimeter base really well. And I really just like that. I like that a lot. These could also be a really cool mount. Like from my video where I talk about the uh, goblins from Dark Alliance, that uh, awesome range, they also sell mounted goblins that fit on these little wargs. Um, and those would fit really well, I think, onto these caterpillars. And that could be a really cool type of like fey cavalry, um, which would be awesome. So dragonflies, spiders, caterpillars. Then they also have these really cool beetles. Now these you could paint up as giant scarabs for, you know, your desert encounters or just some really cool fire beetles or something like that. Right. And again, here's the one inch base. Like even though it sticks over the base, that wouldn't be too bad at all. But if you don't want it sticking over the base, you use one of these and it works out really well. But again, I like that this lays flat, that you're not worried about like with some toys, they, the legs push up so much, you just don't get a good bond, honestly, when you're gluing to a base and those would sit super flat. And again, that's 12 of that particular beetle, which I love. Here's a cool one too. These giant grasshoppers. I've seen this type of thing over the years in a bunch of different monster manuals, you know, giant grasshoppers, and they would be terrifying. Like if, if Mr. Elf encounters this, that would terrify me, right? But what's so cool, again, is that this is a little more substantial. Like those long legs that you get on some toy grasshopper miniatures um, are actually molded into the body. And it's really compact in that sense. And what's so nice about that for the tabletop is you can clearly tell this is a big grasshopper, but it's not sprawled out all over the place. And honestly, it would fit on a base like this uh, really well. And then finally, here's probably my favorite, the giant fly. Now, there are a bunch of cool giant fly toys out there, um, but I really like the heft to this one. Again, the option to mount it directly on the base because it sits flat, or you can mount it with a nail uh, or some other rod, and then it flies. Um, these I'd probably mount just directly on a base. Um, there is like some flashing there from the mold that you'd want to take care of, just clip off. Like you need to get yourself a pair of flush wire cutters so that it's flat on one side. Um, I love the ones from, there's a Chain Harbor Freight that sell uh, some great flush cutters. And I just have a bunch of sets um, of those. So I have them always around and those work out really well. But again, the benefit of this whole range, or I should just say this whole bucket, <laughs> All the all the figures that come in here is that they give you a different option than other toy insects because the legs are all compact. They're flush against the body. They're molded together. You're not worried about, is this going to be able to glue to a base? They will. And 
I was just really, really impressed by that. So I wanted to show you this great option again, learning resources, backyard bugs. That's the same company that also makes these one inch bases that I did a video on. Um, these counting chips that are fantastic for basing your medium size D and D figures. And I just want to give you a look again at all of these because I think this set is worth picking up if you can. I'll link to it in my Amazon link. Go ahead though and, uh, and use someone else's Amazon affiliate link that benefits them. Any one of the many crafting DMs that has one of those awesome Amazon affiliate uh, stores, go ahead and buy it through them. But I want to give you the link so that you can get it too. That's Backyard Bugs from Learning Resources. 72 different little toys that can be all be used on the tabletop really effectively for under $20 US at this time. So I just wanted to share, Mr. Elf is gonna have some uh, either fighting to do or some wooing to do to get these bugs on his side. And I can't wait to get these based up and painted so they can start being an option for me to use on the tabletop in, uh, in this campaign I'm working on now, but in many future campaigns. And I just wanted to share this find with you. So keep looking for those deals out there. Search for the toys that can be used on the tabletop. And remember this week to go get after your hobby.